Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show you how you can optimize your inventory system by three new functions. The first one is that we have 19 books and we can drop the whole stack and pick it up again. The second function is that we can limit the stacks. So we, if you pick up another book it will create a new stack. And the third function is that we can increase our inventory by equip this backpack here. And as you can see, now we have more inventory slots. So let's go. So first of all, let's create a stack that we can drop. For this, let's go to the details and select this book here. Be sure that you set up the amount to one. Don't increase this one here at the basic child class and be sure that it's valid. So let's go to this book inside the world here and we can increase the amount here to let's say 19 and this here to 2 for example. We now will take this book, we have 19 books in our inventory. So we want to be able to drop the whole stack. For this let's open up our inventory widget, go to the graph here, open up our on drop function. So we have to change a few things here. So first of all, we didn't need this anymore, this and this. So we just have the set array element without any item. Then we go from the turn value from spawn actor and want to cast to the item class. From the item class, we want to set the item. We say right click, split structure pin, connect it here, connect it as well here. So of course we have to connect the name, the amount and that's it. So let's see if this works. We hit play, pick up this book here, open up our inventory, drop it, pick it up again. The second thing is to limit the stacks. For this we go to our item structure here and we have to add a new variable. This will be the stack amount. Stack amount is of course an integer. Let's move this up a little bit to here and save this. So when we save this, you can see we have to change a few things here. So let's go to the instance. We just have to compile and save this here. Then we have to go to the item slot, of course, as well. Let's take a look. We have to compile and save this as well. As you can see, we have to connect many things here. So the stack amount, every time we will use it. So up here as well. So just check where the item structure is connected. Great. And of course in our inventory itself, we have to connect this as well. Like that. Great. So to actually limit the stacks, we go to our item class here. And of course we have to connect the stack amount as well here. But now we need a second branch here. So let's pull this out here a little bit, uncheck this, get another branch on true as well on true here. And we just have to go from the stack amount of course and say integer is bigger and equal to another integer. And we just connect the return value of this plus value up here and this will be our condition. Compile and save this. So now we have to go back to our inventory widget here to the graph and we will change up our move item function as well. For this we have the last condition here. So let's uncheck this and create a new branch. Just goes on a true case. The true case goes up here, false case in the middle here. So we need a condition of course. We go down here where we get the select item and the drop item. From the drop item we get the stack amount up here and say integer is bigger and equal to another integer again. Then from the plus value goes inside here and this goes into the condition. So the reason for this is that we are not able to manipulate the stack system. Compile and save this. Let's go back to our level here, go to other items and open up our book again because we have to, to set the stack amount of course. Let's say this will be a stack amount of 20. Compile and save this. 
And as you remember, I put this book amount to 19 and this book amount to two. So this should create a new stack, of course. So let's see if this works. Pick this up here, we have 19 books. And if we pick this up again, it creates a new stack. Great. So for the last part, we want to increase our inventory by picking up this backpack and equip this. For this, of course, we have to go to our character like this, go to the viewport and we have to give him a backpack. For this, I prepared a backpack. As you can see, nothing special, just a skeleton mesh. So we select it, go to the mesh, add component, add skeleton mesh. Let's call this just backpack. Go to the details. We select our animation blueprint and there it is. We don't want the skeleton mesh at begin play. So to pick up this backpack and increase our inventory, it's pretty simple. I prepared a blueprint actor for this. As you can see, nothing special. This is just a static mesh. As you can see, the backpack and a box collision. Then the first thing that we want to do is we can delete every function here, go to the class settings. And as you remember, we have our interact interface that we can add up here, compile and save this. And now we just call the interact event. First of all, we get our player character calls to our third person character. We get the widget. get the grid. Then we go for again from the third person character and want to set the skeleton mesh of the backpack like that. We uncheck re-init pose and we want to select our backpack. So this one here, pretty easy. Get the game instance cost to our instance that we have, get the inventory, get the length of the inventory, go from the grid and want first of all clear children because we have to reset the item slots of course. Then we need a new variable that called slots. This of course is an integer. And here we can set the amount of item slots that we want to increase the inventory, of course. For this, of course, let's make this public here and get it inside here. Then we just say integer plus integer, connect it. We go from the grid again, call our create inventory function, connect it. The slots, of course, are the return value of this integer here. It is now the storage, of course, and the target is the widget. And the last part is we go from our inventory, of course, set the array element, connect it, check the size to fit to true, and the return value is the index. So in this way, we increase the array of the inventory, of course. And at the end, we just destroy the actor because we have equipped it. And the last part is we go from the widget, call our update inventory function, set the grid, set the inventory, and that's it. Compile and save this. Let's go back to our level here. We have our backpack, go to the details, and let's say we want to increase our inventory with six new slots. Let's see if this works with play. Open up our inventory, pick up this backpack here. Works pretty good, we have six new slots, but the inventory doesn't fit to the boxes here. So we can fix this easily by open up our inventory widget again, select our inventory box and the storage box and set the size to content to true. Compile and save this. Let's try again. When we pick up this backpack, now the inventory fits with the slots. Great! I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions, please let me know and yeah, goodbye!